U.S. testing its deadliest and powerful $500 million railgun. Few weapons in the world are as majestic and as possibly devastating as railguns. A railgun is a device that employs electromagnetic force to fire projectiles at high speeds. The projectile doesn't have any explosives in it, rather it depends on high speed and momentum to do damage. The destructive power of these projectiles relies on how fast they are moving and how weighty they are, because a railgun projectile can move quickly. Its destructive force is more considerable than a similar sized traditional gun projectile. The U.S. Navy Dahlgren Division regularly revealed an 8 megajoule railgun shooting 7.1 pound projectiles as a prototype of a 64 megajoule weapon that was designed for warships. Later, the energy for firing the railgun was pushed up even further on January 31, 2008. The U.S. Navy certified a railgun that shot a projectile at a speed of 8,270 feet per second and 10.64 megajoules. Railguns have launched projectiles up to a range of 100 miles. Precautions are taken to fire the railgun out to the ocean to avert possible destruction of infrastructure or loss of life. Unfortunately, railgun improvement has been stopped by the U.S. for now in favor of projects such as longer-range missiles and even laser weapons. In 2020, a Navy ship utilized its laser weapon system to shoot down a flying drone nearby. It is part of the Navy's plan to handle air threats at sea. The Navy reports in a news release that the amphibious transport dock ship Portland triumphantly disabled an unmanned aerial vehicle while it was in the air during a test at sea on May 16. The laser on the Portland can be employed to target not only drones, but also small boats. Time will tell exactly how huge the solid-state laser will develop into and how successful it will be. For now, we can still depend on weapons like the Tomahawk cruise missile. The Tomahawk land attack missile is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered subsonic cruise missile that is mainly operated by the U.S. Navy and the Royal Navy to assail land from ships and submarines. There are at least seven variants of this tried-and-tested missile. The missile then uses what is called TURCOM, or terrain contour matching, to ascertain its way to the target. The route data is laden onto the missile before it is launched, and the Tomahawk then directly follows the terrain's form. It's supposed to reach the target. Tomahawk can fly up to ranges of 1,000 miles or more. According to the variant, unlike railguns and lasers, missiles have to be reloaded. The process of loading missiles onto U.S. Navy ships has to be achieved manually, that is, at the dock. Reloading at sea is a much more threatening undertaking because of the weight of some of the missiles and the rolling motion of the ships underway. The vehicle launch system and personnel could be impaired or injured. Missiles like the standard missile measure in excess of 1,000 pounds. In the past, U.S. Navy ships were loaded with cranes, but these were removed due to the risk of rearming at sea with potential hostiles with Russia and China looming. Rearming at sea looks more likely U.S. Navy torpedoes are another distasteful weapon. Enemy ships have to compete with surface vessels that are often armed with torpedoes. Torpedoes that are 50 more deadly than TNT. Torpex is an acronym for torpedo explosives. Surface vessels are armed with the Mark 54 torpedoes. The Mark 54 can demolish submarines at a range of 10,000 yards for land attacks. The U.S. Navy can depend on the naval strike missiles. The new Norwegian missile is used to counter ships and land targets. It has a range of up to 345 miles, depending on its attack profile. Another innovative way to assault land targets is to utilize the HIMAR system from ships. The N-142 high-mobility artillery rocket system is a light multiple rocket launcher created for the U.S. Army in the late 1990s. It's set up on the standard U.S. Army M1140 truck frame. The M142 has one pod that can hold either six GMLRS rockets, 
two PRSM missiles or one ATACMS missile. It can shoot all of the weapons in the multiple launch rocket system family employed from ships. The system provides the U.S. with greater land attack versatility. The defense setup of the U.S. Navy ships and aircraft carriers is achieved in successive layers. The final defense entails the Phalanx Sea Wiz. The Phalanx utilizes radar to prey on enemy missiles with a six-barrel 20mm Gatling cannon that shoots 3,000 to 4,500 rounds per minute over ranges of more than five miles. The range is relatively short for modern anti-ship missiles, but the system is quick and accurate. Another level of defense that aircraft carriers have is the aircraft they carry. As soon as enemy weapons aim at them, they scramble F-18s or F-35s and assault the enemy facilities or ships. These aircrafts are armed by ordnance men, distinctive in their red outfits. Ordnance men employ many tools and vehicles to assist them to attach heavy weapons to aircrafts like F-18 or F-35s. F-18s are being replaced by F-35 Lightning, but they still have a role to play as navies worldwide keep working to enhance the weapon systems of their battleships and aircrafts. These weapons are transforming into something fatal by the day and with such frightful improvements. The casual onlooker can only wish that these weapons would never truly be utilized for their expected purpose.